An update now from Ottawa over the controversy surrounding House of Commons Speaker Greg Fergus. A Commons committee has tabled its report on the Speaker's personal video message to a longtime Liberal friend. Now, the report calls on Fergus to pay a fine and apologize for the video rather than resign. The report follows a study into what all MPs agreed was a bad judgment call by Fergus. He filmed a video for outgoing interim Ontario Liberal leader John Fraser while wearing his speaker's clothing. The video was played at a partisan event. Now, during his testimony at the committee this week, Fergus vowed to learn from the mistake and never let it happen again. CTV's Jeremy Chiron is standing by in Ottawa with the latest on this. And Jeremy, the committee coming back with that report. Uh, any surprise to that or is it what kind of what was expected? Uh, Roger, it's pretty much what was expected. Look, the Conservatives and the Bloc have been very outspoken about the fact they're, they're calling for his resignation and they maintain that position. Uh, but them alone, the Conservatives and the Bloc, did not have enough uh, support to, to move forward with this. And that means the majority of MPs uh, in committee voted against uh, the recommendation that Greg Fergus resign uh, after that video that was filmed. So we know that, that there were three major recommendations uh, tabled today in this uh, this report, one being that he pay a fine, two uh, being that he issue another apology. He has uh, apologized already, uh, but now he has to issue another apology with some specific things that uh, are required in that apology, including that they state that the video in the office and in the robes was inappropriate and that he show remorse um, and that he continue to prioritize respect, impartiality and decorum. And he must outline um, what he and his office will do to ensure that this doesn't happen again. So some very specific requirements for that apology that we will be hearing at some point. And the third uh, recommendation is uh, for the House administration. And it is that they put together um, a binder of information that will go to any incoming House speaker uh, with a, a clear outline of your responsibilities uh, of impartiality uh, and nonpartisan so that something like this doesn't happen again. So uh, some sanctions, some regulation changes, um, some, some decisions and, and things that will uh, happen moving forward to ensure that this doesn't happen again. But the committee falling short of recommending that, uh, that Greg Fergus uh, resign. That being said, as, as I just talked about, the Conservatives and the NDP have issued dissenting um, motions uh, basically contradicting this and saying that they don't support it uh, and that they maintain that Greg Fergus uh, should resign. That being said, the majority of committee uh, voted against that. So certainly that is still the overwhelming uh, decision by the committee is that a resignation is not needed. Uh, and Greg Fergus has made it clear that he would respect the decision of MPs and the decision of the committee. Uh, and so I would not expect that uh, through, through that show of displeasure uh, again this morning from conservatives uh, in the bloc, uh, that that will uh, result in, in him resigning. Uh, the outline has been made clear that there, there are those three major things, including another apology and a fine uh, that Greg Fergus will adhere to. Just out of curiosity, have they said what the fine was? Because Andrew Shearer, I believe, was uh, slapped with a $500 fine for something similar a few a little while ago, right? Yeah, there are reports out there exactly that that, that he was stuck with a $500 fine. There's no um, there's no specific amount outlined. I mean, the exact um, wording in it is that he takes steps to reimburse a suitable amount, Roger, for use <laughs> of parliamentary resources not related to uh, parliamentary uh, functions. So we'll we'll learn down the line, I'm sure, the exact amount what a suitable amount is, but basically they're saying that fine is going to be paid for the fact that, you know, he used parliamentary resources for something that had nothing to do with his parliamentary duties. Okay, and I'm sure we'll be hearing more reaction uh, from the House all day. Jeremy, thank you very much for that update.